All right, uh, we are back. This is later in the same day. Um, our first uh, singles, we have Arcana and Rex Raptor. Uh, so, we'll, uh, we'll see. I have no idea how this is going to go in any of these because I've never, I've never seen people like use these decks against each other. <laughs> Oh, well, Arcana wins the RPS. Um, considering we don't have a first turn draw, and outside of power spells, these decks are fairly slow, uh, I'm actually going to take the first battle phase. So, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, this is a good hand. That I'm, I'm glad to hear. I also have a pretty good hand. So. From my point of view, it's currently actually looking like a Rex Raptor deck so far. Well, Rex, you're going to need a good hand to face down a true master of the Dark Magician. Yeah, right. Well, if I need some help, then I should probably get, call upon some backup. <laughs> I have to be paw greed. All right, there we go. I ha what does it do? Oh. I'll tell you. It allows me to draw two cards. I, how does it do that? I have no idea. <laughs> Then I set up monster in defense position. It could literally be anything. That's true. And then I in my turn. All right. Okay. Uh, stand by main phase. I liked your play so much. Um, I'm gonna use my own pot of greed. Um, Aren't you going to tell the folks at home what this, what it does? Well, I, I once saw uh, Master Merrick activate this, um, and on his dueling disc, it changed his life points into a string of text um, that if we were to convert that string of text hexadecimally to life points, his life points temporarily exceeded uh, 30,000. And then for some reason, he also drew cards from his deck. Mm. But... I honestly think, I think they should... If only in the, in the, this card game could simulate the pure complexity and sophistication that is in the anime. Yeah, well, I'm actually going to set uh, more cards... Than you did, because I'm not convinced that just setting one is the way to go. And then I'll pass back. You know what? I have to take early aggression or else I'm just going to fall to the wayside. But on the other hand, I do know you have a uh, giant soldier stone somewhere in that deck. You know, the obvious I, dark magician card. I do I do have a, a copy. Um it's it's a card that that we owners of the dark magician swear by hey, 
It's also one that Rex Raptor swears by. So much so that he has three entire copies of. Well, you know, that, will, that makes sense. I will be the first. I will be. I am. I may be a lizard brain. But, so I'm going to give in to my uh, temptations and. Go for some Dymo Demol Demolition. Crawling Dragon number two. I'm a little I'm a little confused about your deck's identity, Rex. Uh, its name says that it's a dragon, but its type says dinosaur. Is this a running theme? A power, a powerful dragon with teeth that can grind almost anything to dust. Ah, dinosaur. So it's a dinosaur with dragon uh, teeth. That, yes, I'm so glad you're you're able to understand. All right. You know, the number two doesn't stand for this is the second crawling dragon. That, that's just for, he just got dentures. This is his second pair of teeth. Oh, okay. I enter the battle phase and attack your face down. Uh, well, it was a scaling gill, which will allow me to draw a card. I called your bluff and that you did not respond. No mind games will get to me. Well, we'll we'll see. We've uh, we've still got a good ways to go. Uh, still at full life points, both of us. Um. I will set another monster and pass turn. It worked so well for the first turn. Anything at standby? No. I, uh... Standby, what is that for? Uh, well, good. Uh, no. I do have some berry cards in my deck, but none are as. No. Now, feast your eyes upon a, no, a card which you could not interpret in any no, way other than the way the career is intended. I normal summon my little D. <laughs> I Rex, I, I have I had no idea you uh had a had a little D. I know. It surprises a lot of people. Anyway, I attack for I attack with crawling dragon number two. Okay. Um Hmm. This is a thinker. Um, What's wrong? Is Lil D? I I'm not I'm not sure that I want much to do uh, with your little D. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and mirror force. That'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Stand by main. I will set another and pass turn. <laughs> so this is going well. Um, Yeah. 
You know, crawling dragon number two doesn't just stand for its teeth. It also stands for the fact that I have more than one of it. I normal summon a Yeah, maybe my mirror force was a a little bit early. Crawling dragon number two. Number two attack. This one. All right. Well, this is actually a man eater bug, which I will use to destroy your face down monster. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, I had to get. I would have had to get through it sooner or later. I'm. I'm in no way upset. 500 or less defense. 500 or less defense. 1500 or less defense. That's correct. Did I say... I am... Even better. 1500 or less. That's... Thank you for letting me know. That's even better. Yep. Well, true to Rex Raptor, I think I should add... A summoned skull. Oh no! Hands. That uh, that can test that can test my boss monster in terms of uh, attack strength. I'm gonna have to figure something out. I end my turn. All right. Mm. Stand by main. I really can't afford for you to uh, have tribute fodder for that summon skull. Um, so I'm actually going to normal summon dark elf. Flip summon Sangan and just start getting aggressive here. I'll go to my battle phase and I'll pay a thousand to attack into your crawling dragon. And then I'll attack directly for 1,000. I... Dark... Uh... Ah, yes. Dark Elf. The famous monster we all know and love. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I can't... I set a monster and end my turn. Okay. Ah. The time has come. Stand by main phase. I will activate Graceful Charity to draw three cards. And then I will discard my Dark Magician and my Dark Elf. Mm, I'm sensing I'm in danger. Next, I will shift my Sangyan to defense. Set a monster. Set one card. And I know you have a lot of... There's a lot of monsters in this format that Dark Elf can't get over. Whether it's the three giant soldiers of stone running around. There are also a fair number of flip effects. So, I will pass turn. I activate Snatch Steel targeting your Dark Elf. Ah. Uh. That's actually probably really bad for me. 
then I send the your dark elf to the graveyard to tribute summon the one, the only twin-headed fire dragon. Oh. Cower in fear for your time is soon to be over. I attack, uh, the Sangan. Might as well get it over now. All right. With the Sangan, I will add. I will just attack over it because there's literally nothing. A I sinister serpent to my hand. I, that is a good card. Oh, wait, it's still my turn. Yes. I'm not, uh, main phase two. Do I want to do anything else? I might have to do something next turn. All right. Stand by main phase. I activate my second graceful charity. This card is truly balanced and fair. Now, and with off of my graceful I charity, I will actually discard both of my remaining dark magicians that I drew. Next, hmm. I will flip some in my man eater bug to destroy your face down monster. It is the giant soldier. Then I will sacrifice my man eater bug to summon Dark Magician Girl, who has 2,900 attack points. Thanks to all three of my Dark Magicians in Grave. Attack my Dark Magician Girl. My twin head fire dragon defeated by a low class warrior. <laughs> well, it's not a warrior, but you get my point. She is a battle mage, much like her teacher. And then I will pass turn. I will activate a bit. Nah, I, I saw your magic and have learned from it. I will activate my very own graceful charity. I will counter your graceful charity. Oh. With a card known as Magic Jammer. Discarding my Sinister Serpent. Oh. Oh, you fool. Oh, you foolish fool. I, uh... You forget why I have him in my hand. I still have the summoned skull. Do I not? 
I re- distinctly remember you having a I, sun uh, and skull. I activate stage of Oh man, Discord really uh really distorted that one. I will activate my second magic jammer discarding my dark elf. I can still out this. I just need a bit of time. Your turn. All right. In my standby phase, I will get my Sinister Serpent back to my hand. Oh. Next... This is going to lower the attack of my Dark Magician girl. But I will pay 800 life points to revive one of my Dark Magicians. Next, I will Normal Summon Sangan. Go to my battle phase and have my Dark Magician attack your monster. That was dark. Uh, no, my Tekodon. Uh, then I will attack for a thousand and twenty six hundred damage. That's my entire turn. There is... I have next to no choices left. I activate Monster Reborn and summon... Your dark magician to my side of the field. How dare you steal dark, dark magician. magician. You are unworthy to wield its power. Then I set a card before entering the battle phase. Now, teacher, give your student a lesson. Dark Magic Blast! She served me well. I think you should not, uh, not give up before not, uh, I feed you to the raptors. Give up when I'm winning. See, I just drew a magic card known as Raigeki. Oh, bollocks. But now that you're hard on the cards. No. Destroy this imposter wielder of the Dark Magician. Dark Magic Attack. Okay. Well, Arcana did very well. Uh, I'd say... Oh, yeah, doing very well with us. That magician of faith and dark magician. <laughs> Double graceful charity, pot of greed, um, Raigeki. And 
I mean, my hand still had stuff. Like, obviously, you knew about the Sinister Serpent, which is just, like, the perfect thing to pitch off of Magic Jammer and Graceful. Um, the thing is, I couldn't get greedy and, like, wait to try and get value because the Change of Heart Tribute Summon Skull just wrecks me, or would have wrecked me. Um, but in my hand, I did still have... Um, I did still have a Maneater Bug. And if things got really, really bad, I had a... a uh, Swords of Revealing Light that I could use to stall to find outs. Um, but, yep. Um, although I, ha I had the famous Rex Raptor cards in my hand. Ah. Being Summon Skull and Dragon Zombie. Yeah, I mean, you searched Summon Skull. I'm glad I was able to keep Rex off of it. Because it, it really does out a lot of stuff in my deck. I w if I... Ha I genuinely would have preferred Swift not searching out a man -ear bug in this situation current situation yeah but my deck just straight up doesn't have any monsters i have searchers magician i have witch of the black forest a giant rat and magician of faith those are the only effect monsters in my deck all right well i have noted Arcana's win. Are you ready to move on to the second set? Oh. Oh, yes I am. Alright. Then I will switch All right, I am hosting again. Set, right? Yep. Yami Bakura versus the Kaiba Corp Dual Computer Mark II. Choosing the optimal RPS strategy. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> Rock you. Uh, now you see. Well, now this is going to be a more difficult duel because we're both playing. I was about to take good decks, but slightly better decks should be the right wordage. Oh, it's summoned. Aha! Face down. Prepare for damage and for that to be returned to your hand. The one thing that outs this. Yes. 
Uh, 7.15. Yep. I will set a card that could literally be anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, stand by main. Uh, I know for a fact that your witch has too much defense for me to attack over with uh, my wall. So... I flip over my man eater bug. That's a problem. It's a fat and destroy your wall. Dang it. All right. It was fun while it lasted. Since this is a set monster, I'm going to normal summon witch and the bug forth. And attack with it. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and take out the witch. I know this procs a search, but it has a lot fewer attack points, or a lot more attack points than Man Eater Bug. So. Uh, I'll add one uh, Sinister Serpent to the hand. Ah. Then I'll attack. Attack directly with the man eater bug. Let's see. Uh and I'll end my turn. All right. Stand by me. I will set one card and pass turn. Hmm. I'll change that. My. I'll normal summon. Gemini Elf in an attack position. I'll attack directly with Man Eater Bug. Then follow up with Gemini Elf. I will use Kunai with Chain to change your Gemini Elf to defense. What's wrong using stall tactics? <laughs> These are the optimal strategies of the deck that you built. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, stand by main. Uh, I'm not worried about my kunai with chain. It has already served its purpose, so I will activate... Heavy Storm. Ah, I'm glad to have gotten rid of a Magic Jammer. Because and now I can activate my Pot of Greed. This will then allow me to activate Raigeki. And then I will normal summon a Witch of the Black Forest of my own to attack directly for 1100.
that for <laughs> oh you f nah. you know what everything I know but that also means I know everything you know strange isn't it oh no I attacked with my DD -D wa warrior banishing both monsters. I am my turn. Stand by main. This has left you open for a direct attack. But this will leave you open for a direct attack. Oh. <laughs> and then I summon my own Force Raider. And attack directly. I end my turn. I enter the battle phase and attack your face down. This allows me to get a spell card back to my hand. And, well, wouldn't you know it, Pot of Greed is looking awfully nice. I set a card and end my turn. I will activate my pot of greed. Ooh. I activate Monster Reborn and then I will normal summon Gemini Elf. Our Vorse Raiders will crash. I will add a Raigeki from my graveyard to my hand. I think you saw this coming. <laughs> I summon my own Gemini Elf and attack directly. Things are looking grim. Mm. 
I enter the battle phase and attack your face down. It was my second Magician of Faith, which I liked your play so much. I will add my own Raigeki back to my hand. Main phase two. I'll set a monster and end my turn. Stand by main. You knew this was coming. I send my uh, Gemini elf and Sinister Serpent to the graveyard. Then I will normal summon Vorse Raider. I set one card and pass the turn. Ah, stand by main. I will normal summon my own DD warrior. Yeah. I will attack your monster with Vorse Raider. I oh. activate my uh, uh, penguin soldier and whoa, whoa, whoa. I get to pick the targets well those are the only legal targets return... it cannot return itself when destroyed by battle oh then I oh, will set wait, one card destroyed it then too. yep yeah Heavy storm. It was my Harpy's Feather Duster. I had to set it for hand size. Hmm. Let me just do some quick mental math here. You're looking awfully low on life points. As so Indeed. High. It's almost as if these decks that, are heavily contested with one another. Well, with that happy, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster in the graveyard, I suppose you have nothing to protect you from my swords of revealing light. Oh. Then, I know a summon on Force Raider and activate Monster Reborn. <coughs> a special summon. I uh, do I have one in my grave? Yeah, I have a special summon, a second Force Raider from my graveyard. And I'll attack you for gain. This would be lethal if I didn't have a Karibo. Yes. The famous nut card that the Korra always used. <laughs> I, no, thank goodness I have my Swords of Revealed Light to protect me. I am my turn. Battle and attack your face down. 
It is my own penguin soldier. Uh, targets? Both of them. The monsters. Yep. Did it only target monsters? Oh, yeah, it's yep. monsters only. I was thinking of uh, Nightmare Penguin. What? I mean, that's not a card that exists yet. I have no knowledge of that card. I end my turn. Aha! You may have gotten rid of my Harpy's Feather Duster, but that allows me to use Heavy Storm. Ah, your own kunai with chain. Glad I got rid of it. I will normal summon Gemini Elf. Go to battle. And attack. Pass turn. I set a monster and pass the turn. I normal summon DD Warrior. Go to battle and attack oh. with Gemini Elf. I take a hundred. Yes. And then I will take eight hundred more to banish it. another card and end my turn. I will go to battle and attack your monster. It is Masked Sorcerer. I will set a monster and pass turn. I will set a monster and pass. I will normal summon my second Gemini Elf. And I will attempt to clear your monster. It is. No, no. Which is a black forest. And then oh I will. God. A Karibo from my deck to my hand. Oh my god, it protects for another turn. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's not what I needed. I attack your face down. It will go back to your hand. Great. I will go to my battle phase and attempt to end this duel. I admit defeat. Oh, 
That was so close. Oh, what, man. What was my next draw? What was... My next draw was... My next draw... Was Mirror Force. Oh, my God. That would have won you the game. Because I... Of course it was the next draw. I know you also have a dark hole left in your deck. Because I have one in my hand. My other my other cards. Even if I was able to... Well, the thing is we're so life so low on life, any board wipe wins the duel at this point. So mirror force, dark hole, anything. Yeah. Wow. So the no, dual computer I managed just saved my right guy. Well, you you triggered it twice. Um So that was that was pretty good. Um I mean, I I cycled I used my magician of faith to get me both a pot of greed and a Raigeki. Um cuz a lot of times Raigeki is like a a two for one anyway. But Man, that was, that was, uh, holy crap. <laughs> we're, really? we were both super low on life, and I made a really risky play late using DD Warrior Lady to take okay. 800 and out the giant soldier, but it worked. And I have one question for you. Where else can you see that using which of the Black Forest to search Karibo to uh, save your life? I've never... I, I don't think I've ever seen that ever in a duel. <laughs> well, you might have that chance to see it again. Ah, uh, yes. Our next match... Our next one is Simon versus Yugi Moto. And this is the Simon from ancient Egypt. Yami, you gave me. Yes. So Atem versus versus Simon. Uh this this should be a good one. Let's see, what would Simon choose? I'd probably choose this one. Have you chosen? Yes. Well, I'll trust my aunt. I will choose Ooh. Yes. For you see, I am the master of every game. I'll go second this time around. Ah. Well then. I will set a monster and pass my turn. What games are you playing? You should know, considering you learned from me. I'll activate a graceful charity. An excellent start. What? What does that mean? I will send my Buster Blader and Giant Soldier of Stone to the graveyard. Then I will 
activate my pot of greed. Ah. I normal summon Beta, the Magnet Warrior, to an attack position and attack your trickery. You attacked my Sinister Serpent. My, no, no. I knew it was a bluff. My standby phase, Sinister Serpent will return to my hand. And then, I will normal summon my Muka Muka, who is at gaining 1500 attack points from my hand for a grand total of currently 2100 attack this will clear your beta the Mad magnet warrior what damage 400 Not not much damage, but more of the point was just clearing beta. Mm, I best be careful. I activate. How much in a, how much attack is that thing up? To? It has twenty one hundred attack. Wait, what's the and and what's the side? Uh, 2100. What's the hand size limit? Six cards. So it, during your end phase, like if you have... it During the end phase, if you have more than six cards in your hand, you have to discard down to six. Which is why, like, okay. a lot of people will set cards in main phase too. I'll activate... I'll activate... Snatch Steel. Ooh. Then I'll, uh, uh, since you destroyed his partner in battle, I'll uh, summon Alpha the Magnet Warrior in attack position to seek his revenge. Uh, so I'm going to take 35 here. Yes. But in my standby phase, I will gain a thousand of it back. Hmm. I will activate Heavy Storm to return my Muka Muka to my control. And then twenty one hundred is a nice attack stat. And I can lower it down to eighteen by summoning a second one. Which will allow me to clear one. your alpha and then attack directly. It's 18. Or is it? Wait a second. 300. Yeah, 18. I will see. 
attack hard. Then activate Raigeki. Oh, that's unfortunate. Your beasts can no longer torment me. Beasts? My monsters were rocks. You're, you're just joking, right? No, no, they're rocks. That's their, crab. that's their type. Was... Rock crabs. But there's steam coming out of they. They have eyes. Eyes of stone. There are red gemstones, like rubies. <laughs> are you high off of those fumes? <laughs> the fumes I've been huffing are none of your concern, Pharaoh. <laughs> position and attack your face down it was my sinister serpent hmm. I end my turn during my standby phase I will add my sinister serpent back to my hand Then I will follow up with a dark hole. Oh, big shield gardener. That's a good one to get rid of. Hmm. I will normal summon cannon soldier. You don't intend on using that, do you? Possibly. Sacrificing your own monsters? I will set a card and end my turn. Stand by main. I will go to battle. Oh, wait. Uh... Yep, that's in your hand. I will attempt to attack your monster. A mystical elf, a delicate elf that lacks offense, but has power. monster and end my turn. Hmm. 
Hmm. I will go to the battle phase. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure that's worth it. I will use my cannon soldier's effect to sacrifice Sinister Serpent to deal 500 life point damage. You monster. The scarring of your own monsters. Who would ever do something as heinous as that? Hmm. Truly, I will never ever do this exact thing later on in my lifespan ever under any circumstances well i will declare cannon soldier and sacrifice itself to deal another 500 but that would leave you wide open i am not worried pharaoh Well, you should be. That's my theme music. For I send my sinister serpent and mystical elf to the graveyard to uh, special summon my ever faithful companion, Dark Magician. Oh. Dark Magician. It is my cyber jar. Ah. And now, yes, I am. Uh, slash mill five. Oh, those are good ones. Uh, is it, uh, all level four or lower, or all level four? Um. So it says. All level four and lower monsters you can summon in either face up attack or face down defense. Every monster that's above level four goes to your hand, as do all spells and traps that were sent. So then I will get, um, I also get three monsters. And then I get a spell and a trap. And then actually these two, what I'm going to do, um, and this is the proper way to actually resolve, um, to actually resolve uh, Cyber Jar. I'm going to add my face down monsters back to my hand and then set them in a randomized order. So oh, okay. that if you want to do the same with yours, I would understand. And then my hand auto shuffled. So uh, actually when I added both, so I'll just set these. I end my turn. Very well. In my standby phase, I will return my Sinister Serpent. <laughs> then I will flip summon my Magician of Faith. to add Dark Hole back to my hand. Uh, my 
screen size is above 7, I'm going to set oh, okay. dark, literally be anything. Actually, I'm going to activate it. Oh, it's past the... Oh, okay. So this is on your last turn, then. Okay. Well, I got rid of your Dark Magician temporarily. Um, I will then, for my normal summon... Oh, Buster Blader. Yeah, that's that's better. Um, for my normal summon... Uh, neither of us have any drag. I will normal summon Cannon Soldier, my second copy. I will then use Cannon Soldier to tribute my Magician of Faith to deal 500 life point damage. I will use it to tribute my Mask of Darkness to deal 500 life point damage. I will tribute my Vorse Raider I will activate Snatch Steel on your Buster Blader. No. I will tribute Buster Blader. To deal 500 more. Putting you at 1,400. Oh, for, for Kenny's Yep. I will then activate Change of Heart, and I will roll the dice to decide which monster. Wait, can you take control, please? Sounds with this. Yep. I'll take control of the middle one. Okay. All right. Let's see. I will tribute off your big shield Gardna for 500 more damage. Are you really going to burn me to death? Then... I will set one card, could be literally anything. I've already normal summoned. Hmm. You know what? I know premature burial is in the format, so... Huh. I will I will use Cannon Soldier to sacrifice itself just to put you out of pre mat range. And then I'll end with Dark Hole. And that's the end of my turn. Harpies. It was my mirror force. Uh, I will set a card and pass. I will set one and pass turn. Oh, you 
Cyborg. I flip. Uh, I flip up. Cyberjar. Oh, you outed my magician of faith. All right, I will. These two go to defense. The rest go to my hand. Uh, are you going to randomize them? I will. Um, All right. My hand shuffled when I added them back, so. Uh, yep. Set this and this. So we have we have resolved Cyber Jar twice. I, the stool. I activate change of hearts. Targeting this one you got it then I tribute magician of faith and snub which is a black force to us tribute summon my ever faithful companion dark magician oh man Uh, you do get you get to search a monster off of sacrificing witch. Uh, uh, do I even have anything left in here? Uh, I guess I'll add I'll add Gemini Elf. I guess Battle Phase. Uh, I'll tap this. Uh, I was my own witch of the blast. Black Forest Ham, which you knew about. I will use it to add... Uh... I'll add Wall of Illusion. I have two extra cards, so I'll send uh, Serpent and Gazelle Kingdom Mythical Beast to the graveyard. All right. Um, and I'll end my turn. All right. Stand by main. I will attempt to use Harpy's Feather Duster. I will activate Magic Jammer. And I will pitch my uh, Witch of the Black Forest. No, All right. Activate. My spell is negated. I activate Pot of Greed. Then I will set three cards and pass back. During standby, I get to add to hand my Sinister Serpent. I set two cards. And 
pass the turn. Why wouldn't you attack Pharaoh? I, I literally saw you at the car. <laughs> oh, all right, fine. Uh, I activate Graceful Charity. Does this go through? Yes. Okay. One, two, three. I will discard Sinister Serpent and Total Defense Shogun. Next, I will attempt to write Geki your board. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, next, I will flip summon Mask of Darkness, targeting my Mirror Force. Then I will go to battle and attempt to win. Uh, Force, my own. I activate seven tools of the bandit. I act I activate now during I sent sent to my great book. All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right, well then, uh, main phase two, I will set two cards. I actually didn't normal summon or set yet, so I'll, I'll set a monster that could be literally anything, and then pass turn. I will normal summon Gemini Elf, and I will end my turn. Why wouldn't you attack? <laughs> I, I, I haven't drawn the out yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll add, I'll add a Sinister Serpent to my hand. Uh, then I will activate Graceful Charity. It goes through. I will pitch my Sinister Serpent. And I'll get rid of a Panther Warrior. Why not? Why not use that? That's a good card. I mean, it is, but... What's up with your deck? Um, What's up with your deck and tricking monsters? I don't know, but I'm actually going to try and Heavy Storm. Uh, no, it's a graveyard. It was a white hole... And the seven tools of the bandit. Okay. I'm actually sending quite a lot here. My Imperm, uh, or Imperial Order, my Magic Jammer, and my Mirror Force. Um, but it should be very clear as to why. Uh, because I'm going to reborn your Dark Magician. And kill you with it, unless you have Karibo. Uh... In, uh, in which case, I have him. Why won't I? in which case, I'll just kill you with any of these. So, <laughs> Simon wins. 
against. <laughs> oh. For there was literally anything that there was literally nothing that I would die. Oh man. There was. Ah oh, yes, yes, I, yes. Swords are real daily life. The fourth de the card of the bottom eye of my deck. Yeah, that's real useful. Yes, that's when you need it. <laughs> man, four cards oh, left in deck. And you want to? You okay? What would be the absolute worst card to draw as your final draw um oh wow yeah that's when you need early but dang um this this duel uh it's it's very rare to see the pharaoh lose um well, but it wasn't... we did we did see well, um really hard to do so. we did see dark magician play a heavy role though this set because like arcana and Atem were both on it um but yeah I, I feel now the the thing is like Simon's boss monster, total defense shogun, like is just outed by um Buster Blader. Um so like on Simon just does not have like a good enough boss monster. He's and total defense shogun is doesn't even have the effect that like when you normal summon him, he, or, oh, no, it does, it does change defense to defense, but, like, it doesn't have the later effect of, like, the super heavy samurais that could, like, use their defense stat in damage calc when attacking, um, which is really what it needed. Like, it, sure, it dodges, uh, mirror force, but that's not really, like all that relevant um i also figured that panther warrior wasn't worth the time um and i turned out to be correct um but si simon just has a, a a really really good lineup of basic monsters like of low levels yeah that's the is the thing. Simon, here's the thing. Yami Yugi probably has the best overall deck. Like, it has, like, some really good monsters. But the thing is, none of them are good, like, good enough on their own. They're and more like Simon, combo pieces. You, ha you oh. have this garbage, this garbage, and this garbage and this the, the deck that he's playing in this game doesn't run valkyrion so there's no real payoff to the magnet warriors oh, no it did it did have valkyrion out it was the 41st card oh you cut valkyrion because it does because this valkyrion banished from graveyard as well no, it's only from field. Yeah, that 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 was never going to go off. Yeah, I actually um, I tended to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. avoid right. uh characters like when picking characters for this game, I wanted to avoid ones that had traps like anti Raigeki and White Hole in them. Because while when they go off, they are just like the most powerful thing. The trick is getting them to go off. Because yeah. they're they're actually pretty easy to play around. Um, and speaking of of Swords of Revealing Light, mine was the second from the bottom in my deck. So, oh, oh joy. Uh, it was Swords was not going to do us 
either one of us any good. Um, but that's that uh, feels pretty good for like the first game's match. Um, next week we'll be doing uh, sacred cards where I can't pick any of the. Uh, I cannot pick Arcana, the computer, or Simon. Uh, Cure, you'll not be able to pick Rex, Yami, Bakora, or Yami Yugi. Um, so, I oh, might I might pick those be two. Picking the, will we be picking the next three now or later? Uh, I, I think we should probably wait till next week. It's getting kind of late. So, not good call. But you know, yeah, we'll just we'll just I think do like two parters for each game. One where like we we establish our pool and then like see what duelists we get, and then the second part is the duels. Um. But this this was this was a lot of fun. Uh, seeing these these characters that otherwise never got like paired against one another in the show, um, and using a bunch of cards that they never used in the show. Uh. Yeah, you can. That part is for sure. Oh. This is probably the closest to what his deck is, but everyone else's is just yeah. Way looking. Off looking at it it's like okay so arcana had like three copies of dark magician um and a single copy of dark magician girl so he had like four tribute summonables um atem has six which or no he has seven slots in his deck um uh, and normal Valkyria on the Magnet Warrior. Yeah, like, you, you tend not to want to have more than, like, five slots in your deck attributed to tribute summon monsters. Um, granted that, like... Like, he wasn't playing a Monarch deck, which Monarchs can get away with, like, eight slots in their deck dedicated to tribute summon monsters. Um... So this this was like it just it just leaves you bricked all the heck. Um uh I would also like to say I probably made the misplay of the century because I was not I was banking on I summoned. No, I had Dark Magician Girl in my hand, and I. So I. It, and I was like, "Hey, I should probably summon out the Dark Magicians." You know, that's pretty good, right? When in actuality, it probably would have won me the game or at least helped a little bit if I summoned the other 2500 attack monsters I had in my hand that's typically what people did historically it was like they would tribute summon summon skull and then as you saw when I was playing arcana they would use stuff like magic jammer and graceful charity to send their dark magician straight from hand to grave and then revive them. Because that was a lot easier on your resources than tribute summoning Dark Magician. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, you've so you've got like eight to, depending on if you want to run like the 41 version of a Thames deck, you have nine slots that are boss monsters um that don't necessarily have fantastic effects they just tend to like be big stats um you have 
three slots of your deck for basic monsters that are the Magnet Warriors that outside of summoning Valkyrion do absolutely nothing. Um, as we mentioned, anti Regeki and White Hole are easy to play around. Um, Gazelle is bad. Um, okay. Not only is Gazelle bad, but uh, Burfamet uh, isn't even in this deck. It's not even yeah. an option if you were to play with it. So I'd I'd say that like not, despite how why are you here? Um if we hop over to Eternal Duelist Soul, um they put Yami Yugi as a tier four duelist, and his his deck is pretty bad. Like I honestly believe that Arcana has a better deck. And he's a tier three duelist. Um, granted, like, which is funny, kind of is like, and our Ar Arcana doesn't even have summon skull. It's just he has enough other good things going for his deck. But if he if he had if he had summon skull, it would definitely make his deck better then like you could take out all the dark magician stuff and just put in summon skull as a boss monster and that would have uh probably been better um and that's the thing in this thing in all these cards all these decks that we've played not a single card was like this card supports this card this card helps out this card this yeah. card lets you help bring out this card the closest that we ever get to any kind of support whatsoever is a monster that only gains attack if another very specific monster is in the graveyard yeah that's it and so it's it's like any even even like the top tier duelists in these games tend to have like some bad cards in their deck so like for example um muka muka is not bad as a normal summon on exactly your first turn Anytime else that you see it, it's it's a dead card. Because typically you've, like, put cards from your hand onto the field. So, well, uh, Banisher of the Light is actually really bad in this deck. Um, because, you know, you have Sangan and Witch. Um... I have a question. Yeah. Why wasn't Muka Muka in Yami Yugi's deck? It his deck is crammed with a lot of monsters that you would need monsters on the field to summon. Mm -hmm. So he has a lot of extra stuff. And also he has Karibo. Who will also be in your hand most of the time. Yeah, it's it's funny so, because like any... Yami Yugi had the original hand trap, which is Karibo. Which means it's busted and should be played to this day. <laughs> I mean they, they came out with better versions of Karibo later, like Battle Fader and uh Swift Scarecrow. Um, but yeah it's like um, and the thing is it's like why, why I, I know I know Atem used Mystical Elf in the anime but it's like why didn't he just pick up a second copy of Giant Soldier of Stone instead it has more attack than Mystical Elf um 
Uh, Big Shield Gardna is okay. Well, that's, well, that's 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 the motto of this entire thing. It's why didn't you just dump this for a different one? Yeah. Because again, all these cards do not synergize with each other. Yeah. So why not? play the other card that's just that is I mean factually better honestly like Atem should have focused on summon Skull as his boss mon as his ace instead of Dark Magician um but I know people have already talked about that to death um or hear me out we go manga accurate and have, have his boss monster have not hit one of his boss monsters be Silver Wolf. I mean, if you're going to have a random normal monster that has nothing to do with anything, why not have it just be Silver Wolf at that point? Yeah. Um, but I, I will say, I, I, uh, I really enjoyed... Really enjoyed this. Um, I'm hoping that... Uh, I, I think this is a lot more fun for the DM era than, like, going through the formats because, like, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! in the Duel Monsters era was terrible. Um, oh, th okay. Doing this... If I had to choose just playing random garbage from the Asera and actually trying to play competitively from this era, I'd pick this garbage 10 times out of 10. Oh, me too. Like, um, and I, I feel like the, the Duel Monsters era definitely lends itself more to, like, the, the nostalgic side of things. Um, GX is, like, tricky. I would say that during the Dark Arm Dragon era of GX, you're much better off, like, enjoying the character duels over that toxic bullshit. But, um, before Dark Arm Dragon, it was actually pretty interesting to see the different decks. Like, even, even, like the card trooper deck um well pretty crazy it was like yeah that was that was better than dark arm dragon like also i this card has a story behind it for me this, oh this is the second card i've ever gotten in my life oh i was going to vocab I was not, I forget what I was going to. I think it was like vocational rehab or something like that. Uh, and after the classes, they would like let us pick out like one card from a big box of like random cards they would have. My hmm. very first, no, my, my second, no, uh, my second Yu Gi Oh card I've ever gotten was Creepo. Yeah. I Share my first, my set, my very first card is not a vehicleroid card, and I will talk about it when, and I will go great into greater detail about that story when we get to that era. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Yeah, my my first exposure to Yu-Gi-Oh um were like the the Yu-Gi and Kaiba joey and pegasus structure decks um it i did play competitively for a couple years but like that was that was a really long time ago um during the the zexal era to... Yeah, this Simon had 
three copies of Magician of Faith and two copies of Mask of Darkness. Which is just crazy. Yeah. Um, I, I was surprised that like using Cannon Soldier that much paid off. Because it got... Yeah. I, like legitimately, if you just said... If you just had literally one more monster just wait a turn and summon one more monster i was just in there is literally nothing i would be able to do i didn't realize that you did not have premature burial in your deck i just kind of assumed that a tem would have it but the thing is it also puts you out of uh seven tools range like to burn you as much as i did um so it was, it was like, say it was a risky strategy because like if you had something to, if you had something to get through, um, cyber jar and that kind of stuff, like it was a problem, but, um, it just left you at a, in a spot where like almost any hit would finish you off and i i wouldn't expect like cannon soldier to contribute that heavily <laughs> oh yeah you like you wouldn't expect that this garbage of a deck to be c capable of cannon soldier ftk well that was let's see well burn that was I mean I did I did half of your max life in a single turn. Um, I did four thousand damage in one turn with, with Cannon Soldier. If we were going by anime in, uh, life points, I would have been dead by that alone. Yeah. Um I'm I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop the recording here. So that's uh Sounds good to me.